I was one of three officers that uh, were assigned to the courtroom uh, detail of the internal security detachment. The internal security detachment comprised of the prison detail and the courtroom detail. And the officer would stand by the main door and uh, I would handle just whatever had to be done. Uh, people coming into the courtroom, I'd have to see if they were supposed to be there. And I'd just have to uh, make sure that the prisoners didn't talk unless they were allowed to at, at times. Uh, communicate communications with their attorneys who sat in front. Uh, just had to keep uh, keep order. Had to get everybody's attention when the when the uh, tribunal marched in. Had everybody stand up. And of course, when the tribunal came in and sat down, I'd have everybody sat down and it just just right there on the courtroom floor. Uh, I never did have too many. Uh, Many, many problems, except with Goering. Goering was always a, a headache. Uh, Carlton Bruner was uh, sort of a headache, too. Hess never was. Hess was asleep most of the time. The one that uh, I enjoyed talking to was Dernitz. I stood right beside Dernitz much of the time during the proceedings. And when there was the lull in the proceedings, I would chat, chat back and forth. Uh, Goering was uh, just sitting there, just mostly, mostly he was okay during the trial. He would uh, yell out schwein or something when, when somebody said something he didn't like. He was very uh, arrogant is the only way you can describe it. Well, initially he was trying to get everybody to team up as a team, you know, and act, uh, act uh, jointly to oppose everything, you know. But, Every, n nobody wanted, really wanted to uh, listen to him. I mean, uh, they were they were not under his command or anything. I mean, it, as much power as he had during the war, I mean, that, that power was gone, and they all knew it. They didn't listen to him. They didn't. They ignored him. Uh, Keitel, I like Keitel because Keitel is a, you know, the Prussian uh, chief of staff. Uh, but Keitel was just a yes man to, uh, to Hitler. Uh, none of the orders that uh, came down to the troops from the Supreme Command, uh, they were all Hitler's orders, but they had to come through Keitel. And Keitel was a uh, uh, military Prussian bearing through and through. I was a lieutenant uh, at the time. Of course, you know, uh, Enemy officers uh, after the war is over, they have to salute the uh, the victorious officers. So I got a kick out of Keitel having to salute me every time we passed uh, uh, where saluting was required. I mean, Keitel would have to salute me. Yoda would have to salute me. It was sort of fun. I mean, I had a, a couple of years as an enlisted man. I had a couple of years as an officer. I had. Uh, decent amount of uh, combat experience and and I had a, a history making assignment at the very end at Nuremberg and I got to see all the guys that started the war uh, finally you know be held accountable and it was sort of sort of a nice wrap-up of everything.